Hey guys. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> on my list of things that I have on my Amazon wish list, I do have a hot water bottle and I did actually get one. Uh, and it's the one that's actually on my Amazon wish list. Um, and it's kind of like an EDS update as well as a product review this video is. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that. So basically it's a one liter water bottle and it has this beautiful fleece uh, cover over it. And it has a nice easy lid, which I have been able to unscrew and rescrew in place while wearing my finger braces. Um, the other good thing about this is since I'm very, very tiny, a one liter water bottle fits perfectly across my body and it's not too heavy for me to hold and carry around. Unlike um, some ice packs that I've had before where, you know, they were very heavy. I had to strap them to me. Um, this, I don't have to strap to me at all. It's a very nice plastic and it even has, um, you can see here, it has a little hook area right there. See how it has that little hole there? It has an area there that to hook it to hang it up. Um, it did come with instructions to not put boiling water in it, um, just very hot water. So, and I'm very surprised, like this cover is like super tight up here. It has the, the elastic there so that um, it doesn't come off. And I'm very pleased with, you know, it's, it's easy to use. I did fill it up to test it out and it is really easy to use. It says to fill it up one third of the way um, so that you can get the cover on it and uh, use it like that. And I love the fact that it's light enough weight that I don't hurt myself carrying it, but it gives off like a very nice warmth um, with, you know, close to boiling water temperatures. And it lasts for a long time. I was really, really surprised. I know that it's like summer and I, everyone's like, why do you use a hot water bottle in summer? Well, um, I can't control my body temperature. So with the AC blowing to help me with my uh, problems and having a fan at the other side of the room, um, I get cold. So when I get cold, Sometimes different joints in my body get stiff and this water bottle has been a great help. Um, another thing that has been um, an immense help for me right now currently is um, since I had my gallbladder surgery, I have had um, the cleaning wipes um, for washing the body and I have ended up getting um, let me see the brand. Okay, it is No Rinse Cleaning Bath Wipes. Um, they were sent to me and it was like a bunch of the packets and everything. And surprisingly, they're like really soft cloths, really thick. So those were, you know, some pretty cool stuff. So I'm actually still waiting for my glasses to arrive um, that I'm going to bring with me to Will's Eye. Um, in October for me to hopefully be able to see better because these readers um, only allow me to see like to my phone uh, and I get to see color so that's how I usually relate to the world I, I don't know anybody's faces anymore uh, from not being able to see so this helped me a lot and the fact that the water bottle is such a brightly colored purple with these hearts on and it's so so soft i actually stick it right next to me right here on the bed is where i stick it so when i'm not using it and i'm easily able to find it uh, without much trouble because the color actually pops out more uh, because everything else on the bed is pretty much black or dark blue so having something purple like that um, helps me be able to find it easier and it definitely works great and it's not too heavy so it's not it's not hard for me to carry around when it has water in it so i just figured i would give that little bit of a review and uh make sure that you guys know that yes the stuff that is on my wish list is stuff that i desperately need um, the other thing that amazed me about this water bottle is, yet again, I end up with something that has an expiration date. 
uh, it says to replace it every two years, which I have never heard of that before with in regards to a water bottle. Um, but this is the first water bottle that I am actually owning uh, of my own. I've used like a water bottle of like a relative's before when being at their house. But other than that, I've never owned a water bottle yet until this one came. So I am extremely happy. I do still have it on my wish list just because of the expiration uh, possibility of this being not able to be up to complete standards for the company in two years. So I definitely have it on my wish list, as well as a few other things for physical therapy that I need. I am doing the physical therapy through my book that I got off of Amazon. Um, this book here, it is the Living Life to the Fullest with Ellers Downloads. Um, I've also been um, following uh, the author, um, Kevin. Uh, I, I've been following a bunch of his patients through Facebook and, and other things and other um, Ellers Downloads websites that I've been going on. Um, I've heard a lot about the program being really helpful to everybody. So because I had surgery, uh, I am taking the 14 days off that it suggests for any injury. And then I will back myself down one level to the basically I'm going to be going back to the first level all over again because I did not even pass the first level because I don't have all the supplies uh, because I need the um, the exercise balls and I need pumps to be able to inflate them and I need the little twist bar thing to work on my wrists and my elbows so but um, I will be backing down one level or one exercise at least to start my progress all over again and hopefully with all help and positive attitude even though I don't want to have a positive attitude I will be working on getting this done and having the benefits show greatly um, I know right before surgery uh, was the first time I was able to do 30 sit-ups and now I can't do any because of the surgery on my gallbladder being removed because I now have four incisions on my stomach that are healing and my stomach wall was kind of broken uh, to get into the abdomen area to get at my gallbladder. So I have to wait a little bit of time <coughs> for that to heal. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I know that um, during a time of healing, it is rather hard to deal with. So. Oh, the other thing, I did mention it in another video, I did get my medical alert bracelet. Let me get it out of my sleeve here. Let's see, I have my medical alert bracelet. The chain is rather big, so I will be trying to get a smaller chain or make a chain or something like that. Um, I did talk to my friend who is an EMT, and they said that having it on the arm that has my brace is the best because they will be examining the brace when uh, if something happens to me they'll examine the brace and when they examine the brace they will find the medical alert band and the medical alert band says Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome hypermobility type so with that being stated it's going to make EMTs have to look at what that is and try and figure out how to treat it on the route to a hospital if something should happen to me. So all in all, that being said, I'm quite pleased with the things that I have gotten from Amazon. Um, I'm pleased with the quality of everything. I mean, I told you guys before about my, um, my Vogue mask, which I absolutely love. I got this off of Amazon. Um, and they do have their own website, too, where you can get the ones that are now being discontinued by Amazon. Um, Vogue Mask does have their own website. So go out there and, like, check them out. I have seen plenty of Ehlers-Danlos patients have these masks to just help protect us from getting sick because a lot of us get sick off of, like, weird things. And a lot of us have tons of allergies and... I am one of those people who has a ton of allergies. 
Um, the other part of this update is I am waiting to see if I am able to get my nutritional supplement. Um, this Nutra Splash or Nutrella Spa Splash. Um, it is supposed to be wheat free, soy free, nut free, and dairy free for me. Um, so basically, I really don't know what it's made out of, but it's supposed to keep me from being malnourished. Although I do not look like I'm malnourished because of the weight, uh, we still have no idea how I still have the weight on me when I have not been eating um, like everybody else. So that is another medical mystery that I chalk up to having ehlers downlos and me being a total freak. That and something this good has to have a little bit of weight on it, otherwise I wouldn't be as cool. So <laughs> I try and look at the positives when I can. So hopefully you guys find something interesting. Um, hopefully uh, somebody will find it in their heart to be able to look at my Amazon wish list and support me by getting some of the things that I need. Um, it is rather hard for me to get what I need because I am on state insurance and state insurance does not cover a lot. Um, I'm also currently in the works of working on doing something with my wheelchair because I do not have the strength to be able to push it because of the weight, but it was not prescribed to me by any of the doctors who I currently have. It was actually subscribed to me to get one uh, by a doctor who I had to leave their practice because they refused to test me for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So I'm currently using the wheelchair basically as a safety net uh, so I don't faint and pass out. And I have yet to be able to attempt in the last, um, I want to say five months, maybe four months, uh, I have not been able to walk outside and go the distance of a full block without assistance because of fatigue. So hopefully when I see my rheumatologist, something will be said to help me or done to help me in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I am still wearing the heart monitor. I think I have like another week left, maybe two on this. And I've been using uh, all the little strips and, and the testers and getting the batteries changed and all that, which thankfully I said something on this vlog about it because I need to do that. So I will let you guys go. Please remember to be kind to one another. Everybody's fighting a battle that you know nothing about. And please remember to stay safe, well, and just keep on trying. Bye, guys.